this uh, Jalen Williams draft party, and uh, uh, ever since he called me about about a month ago and said he wanted to do it here, um, I've been having a hard time sleeping because I've been excited to, to be able to, you know, you dream of going to one and just seeing it, and uh, for Jalen to get drafted, uh, you know, first or second round, and you be here with him to see it, uh, it's a special day, uh, you know, for him and his family. And from the day that he got in the program, uh, you can just see all the great things he can do. Uh, when he first started out, he wanted to pass the ball all the time. And then I said, well, big fella, <laughs> you need to get us two, some points right there close to the basket. I initially met Jalen in elementary school at Sunny Mead Elementary, where I was an itinerant uh, counselor, first year, and interacted with him some, big tall kid, uh, roaming through the halls, big smile, and when I found out that they were ha hosting this here, I was so excited, not just for Jalen, but for Fort Smith Public Schools. I think it's just going to be a night of fun, uh, we're going to be happy, I know he's going one or two rounds, you know, first or second round, so we're just here to celebrate Jalen and all he has accomplished. Well, tonight my son is going to make all his hard work and dedication and sacrifices become a reality to, to um, I mean, the opportunity to, for him to get the dream of his life um, is happening tonight. So we're super excited. He inspires me every, I mean, all, this whole process, he has inspired me to, you know, that whatever you set your mind to, whatever goals you have, it's attainable. Cause you just got to work towards it. You got to put in the work. So it means everything to see my son reach those goals. Where you go? Okay. Well, all right, yeah, appreciate you coming. There's food over there if y'all want food. So, yeah, appreciate you, my guy. Now, when you were a little kid watching what you're watching right now, it's about to be you. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, it's I mean, less than one percent. It's still like, I don't know, it's still unbelievable. I'm just so happy for you. I'm so excited. Hello, <laughs> Ronnie. Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. This is my daughter, Kaylani. What's up? I'm Jalen. Nice to meet you. I'm really, really proud of Jalen. Uh, being a guy that's from Arkansas, um, that played in Arkansas, to get, get your name called. I know what it means um, for him, the community, his friends. I um, mean, it's such a huge honor to be able to come back and celebrate at his high school and have so many of his close friends and coaches be in attendance. With the 12th pick on the 2022 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select that's not me. That's not. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. That's the other Jay Lewis. That's not me. I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. That's not me. Oh, <laughs> relax. That's not me. <laughs> Actually, we didn't. I didn't get to play in this gym, but having it in Fort Smith, having it here with all my friends and family, like, and the young kids, like, there's kids over there, little cousins, little people I know, like, they go to school here, just showing them that they can do it from this area where I grew up, where they grew up, the same park, same. School, same teachers, like just showing them that they can do it from the same spot that I'm doing it from. Like, like that's that's honestly one of the most important things. For me. It's all. It's, I was just here. I was just putting on those Northside jerseys. I was just working out with my dad at the parks and doing things like that. So it's just it's crazy where I'm at now compared to where I was two, three years ago, and it's a dream come true. Hello. Yeah. Appreciate you. Appreciate you.
with the 34th pick in the 2022 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Jalen Williams. <laughs> Man, it's crazy. I just, I just want to say thank all of y'all. Everybody in this room has been important in my life. Like, I feel like I've went through everything with a lot of y'all. Y'all see me grow up from her height. So it's like, for y'all to be here with me, I just want to say thank you. I couldn't do it without all of y'all. I don't know, I'm terrible at public speaking. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you, man. But it's just the beginning. Just beginning. I hope I can do the same stuff. I hope I have a long career and I hope I have all y'all support along the way. So thank y'all for being here. I love all y'all. I know it's. These feelings, it's hard to actually put in words. It's been a long journey, man. We've been, we've been doing this and just waiting for this time to come. And, you just can't put it into words how he's feeling right now. So, man, I'm, mm, I'm too emotional right now. Yeah, I'm nothing but proud for him. Like, before the even season even started, when we were in summertime like this, we were uh, running the mile together, training together, and uh, we talked about this day for him. And uh, I told him throughout the season, like, he can he belongs in that league. So just uh, seeing him fulfill his dream, man, uh, doing the stuff that we talked about, man, I'm nothing but proud for him, man. He's a good kid. He deserves it for sure. So, uh, I can't wait. He's going to enjoy this night, but I told him the work starting now. So I can't wait. For I, don't, I don't know how to feel. It's, it's, it's a dream turned into a reality for me. It's, a, it's been a goal for me, so it's, it's just crazy seeing it right there. I'm here now. I'm here just, but it's the beginning. I got to work and I got a lot in front of me. I'm really looking forward to learning, learning on and off the court, learning about basketball, getting better, getting better at everything, every aspect of my life as a man, whatever it is. I, I just can't wait to get better and I'm looking forward to learning.